overwhelmed. Don't know really what to do, honestly. I've, I mean, we don't have anything. Everything we had is gone. So I don't, I mean, I don't really know. I was actually home. I was off work yesterday, and uh, I was watching, you know, keeping up with, with the weather and everything. And uh, we, you know, we got a good team locally that that stays on top of it. And they started started issuing warnings for our area, and uh, so I, you know, got out as as they instruct us to do, you know, and uh, was making my way to safety, you know, uh, to an area that you know was going to be out of the storms, and and uh, I didn't make it 10 minutes down the road, and, and I got a phone call that that we had been completely wiped out, so. I turned around and made my way back to, to start assessing the damage. Uh, just basically going through stuff to see what we can find that's salvageable and I don't really know from there what we're going to do. I don't know what our next steps will be or anything right now. Like I said, it just happened in a, in a matter of minutes and, and uh, coming back and seeing it the way it is and of course coming up the road. A few homes I got to first, you know, I, I seen them and, and you know, everybody in this area is affected, not just us and it's, it's the whole community and and it was it was devastating seeing, seeing you know, your home like that, seeing others other homes like that and people you know and everything, but you know, it's, we got a good little area around here and they're, everybody's pulling together. We, we're gonna just take it one step at a time, start with clean up and then and then we'll go from there on if we're gonna, you know, rebuild or or you know, do something or whatever, but that's all we can do really is just get get through the processes. <laughs> 